Hey guys, welcome back to Science Skills and Life Skills with Dikhyal Kiran. So today we'll be learning more about our HTML website. So uh, let us start. So uh, if you have watched my uh, first few HTML uh, website videos, you would have learned about the anchor tag. So that what the anchor tag does is if you click on the image or the text that is being anchored, it it re redirects you to another web another website, which will also be coded by us. So please do check out my my uh, that video if you haven't. So uh, now let us start. So you you would have noticed uh, this AP Chabdo Kalam is coming in another line, but it's the same H1. Uh, it's still the H1 tag. If you want proof, I can show that. So it's coming in. Uh, the, it's it's coming in the H1 tag, but the twist is I've used the BR tag, which all have which all uh, which I've discussed in my first few videos, and this is some something called a span tag. So a span tag is a tag that is similar to div tag, but what a div tag which stands for division. So what a div tag does is it it orders the elements uh, vertically. But a span tag orders the elements uh, horizontally. So AP Jabdu Kalam is horizontal, obviously. And the BR tag makes sure that AP Jabdu Kalam is in the next line. So this is how I did that. So today I'm going to show you how to embed. Uh, I'm going to use the word embed uh, an another website or another video in your website without having to redirect the user to another web to the to another website so let's say you want to you want the user to see a wikipedia website you can do that either with the anchor tag or with a tag called the iframe which stands for inline frame so what the anchor tag does is as i've already said it it will redirect the user to another website uh, which will obviously take some time to load uh, and but the iframe tag uh, shows the Wikipedia website in the same website. So in the same in your in the website that we have created. So uh, this is our website as I've shown you. So let us uh, start with the iframe tag. So iframe uh, is all stands for inline frame. So let us first see how to embed a Wikipedia website. So for that, we need the source attribute. And what we give as a source is the Wikipedia website of Abdul Kalam. Because our website is about Dr. P. J. Abdul Kalam. Copy this uh, website. Paste it in the source code, in the source attribute. And let's give a particular width and height to it so that it's neither too short nor too big. So with 800 height, also let's give 800. Save. Let's check it. So as you can see, there's no difference. It's the same website in the iframe tag. So you, in, in this website, we can even scroll down. So that's the specialty of iframe tag. And this uh, this technique is called a single page website, which means all uh, whichever website you want to re uh, redirect the user to is there in the website itself. You don't have to redirect the user to another uh, tab and uh, show the website. So, and the uh, and latter is called as multi-page website. So when you redirect the user to another website, it's called a multi-page website. So now we can we can also embed YouTube videos. So let us see how, see how to do that. So to do that, let's first go to YouTube. And I've searched uh, APJ Abdul Kalam uh, quotes in YouTube. You can take any video that you want to. So let's pause. I don't want to play the video now. So now let's right click on the video. Okay, one second. Right click on the video. And then click on copy embed code. 
and then go to Visual Studio Code. Copy the embed code, go to Visual Studio Code. PR and let's use a line, uh, line break so that the, the elements, the iframe is, uh, is uh, not a clutter. And then let's save. And then uh, let's press refresh. So as you can see, that same video has come here. And if you click on watch on YouTube, it will come on YouTube, which I don't want to play. So uh, you can even see the video from here like that. Uh, you can see it like that. So that is a, one more thing that you can embed in iframe. And in the copied embed code, it's uh, there's a particular width, there's a particular uh, height, and there's also the source code. And there are a few things uh, which are uh, very advanced. So the frame border, uh, so the frame border is the border that comes around the iframe. So the frame got frame border can either be zero or it can be one. It can't be anything else. So let's let's refresh. As you can see, there's a teeny weeny uh, border here. And if I press zero, uh, make it zero. As you can see, there's no more border. So that's that. That is frame border. So if you want, you can uh, put the frame border as one or zero. I'm going to uh, make the frame border. So these things allow. Uh, all these are uh, very advanced things. Accelerometer is something that uh, detects the mouse movement over the video now i'm going to show you how to embed uh, a project in of app lab in the website so let us see how to do that so i have signed into code.org uh, let's go to projects and then uh, i'm going to select uh, uh, an app lab project which is called color guess so it's not that advanced app but uh, this since is just for an example I have selected this app. Then uh, let's click on share. So if you have seen my app lab projects, what we usually do is we just copy the link, we send it to our friends, and that's it. But we have never uh, ex explored this show advanced options. So here you can see export for web, embed, and share as library. Click on embed. And I hope this is very familiar to you, the iframe tag. Uh, so now let's uh, copy it with Control C. Let's paste it and uh, do change the width to 400 because 352 is too less. I have, I have seen that and then refresh it and then below this is what's going to come. The app lab project. So there's a separate play button here and then you can uh, let's say play with it. So and then once you get the color right, just click on the button again and then again try to guess the color. So that is uh, what this color guess is. You can also uh, embed other websites in, in your own website other than Wikipedia. You can uh, upload, uh, you can embed uh, other things, other websites also. But there are a few websites uh, which uh, won't connect. So let's say, uh, in in code.org itself, it won't accept any, um, let's say, sprite lab projects or game lab projects. I'll show you that now. So here I have selected uh, one play lab project. And then uh, let's click on share. Here, uh, first of all, there's no show advanced options. And even if you, if you really want to uh, embed, uh, here's how to do it. But it won't work. I'll show you that in the end. So let's go to, uh, let's now make a uh, iframe. Let's now make an iframe tag. So paste that link of the play lab with SK800 um, height 800. You can change the width and height to your wish. Now I'm going to show you what comes. This is what happens. You can see studio.code.org refused to connect. So, App Lab is one of the very few, I think, the only uh, 
thing that can be uh, ex exported uh, in other websites but sprite lab play lab game lab and uh, uh, other projects uh, cannot be so it always gives uh, this kind of uh, page uh, so instead of that you can use the anchor tag as i had discussed with you earlier so if you have not seen that video please do check it out so uh, that's it for today don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you bye